Greetings. My name is Dr. Sonia Bethune, and I'm a full-time associate professor for the Division of General Education. I have been working for Ashford University for almost seven years now. When it comes to online learning, oftentimes there is a disconnect between the student and the instructor. So it's important for online instructors to be innovative and discover new ways to prevent the spilling of isolation when a student is attempting to complete their educational goals. If you don't already know, I primarily teach Gen 499, which is the general education capstone course. It is also one of the last courses a student takes before they graduate. In October of 2018, I was sitting at my desk starting to set up my two courses and I was thinking to myself, how can I make this course different? Since I've been teaching it for the past five years and I really haven't done anything um, um, as far as um, including media and trying to do videos. So I wanted to start implementing that into my courses. So, but my main goal is I wanted to know how, how I can increase engagement, motivation, even enthusiasm for this course. Since, like I said, this is one of the last courses they take before they graduate, I was wondering how I could get them to feel more connected instead of thinking it's just another course to get through. So I reminisce about what it was like for me as a college student taking traditional courses. What would have prompted me to be more engaging? I was an introvert. Still kind of am. But there were times I would just look at my professor and wonder what it was like, you know, outside of his classes and out te outside of teaching. And perhaps that was, that's the psychologist in me. But I thought maybe if I knew my instructor on a more personal level, I would feel more comfortable with asking questions and actually participating in the courses. I would also feel more motivated to do well in the course. So I had to think about what I wanted to accomplish through a new student engagement strategy. First off, I have to admit that the general education capstone course isn't exactly the most interesting course a student can take here at Ashford. It is a requirement though, and it's very rigorous. This is the class that students um, put the research skills to the test. Students come into this course though with dread. How do I know this? Well, it's because they tell me. I get emails all the time about why am I taking this class. So given that, um, I want to know how I could keep these students um, or keep them up to pace in this final mile of their educational race. How can I connect more with these students? And since Ashford University is kind of their foundation is um, increasing critical thinking skills with these students, um, I wanted to, I was asking myself, how can I encourage these students to think more critically and to use social skills? So what you rarely see in an online course. So light bulb went off and I decided I was gonna let the students ask me anything as long as it was appropriate and um, as long as I felt comfortable answering the question. With this new strategy, I had to think about how I was going to inform the student, uh, students of this request. So this is what I decided to do. I posted an announcement in the announcement section and the same message in the introduction form. This is the announcement broken up in different parts. My goal here is to put the student's mind at ease and let them know that I'm approachable. So it starts off, um, to get better acquainted, I thought I'd try something new. In an attempt to make you feel more comfortable with me as your professor, I'm allowing you to ask me any question. It can be on a more personal level as long as it's appropriate. Throughout the first week, I will respond to each question posted in response to this message with a video response. In my response, I might also have a question for you. The announcement in the course is a little bit longer, but this is just the gist of it. So the initial student comments when I first started this um, was very positive. I especially like the second one in which the student said, I think that it's a lofty and noble goal to personalize the online education experience. 
I think this will be a fun experience that will make the online classroom seem less distance learning and help to create an immersive learning environment. So yeah, a student said that and that was basically, you know, my goal in a nutshell. Now you're probably wondering what kinds of questions the students asked. And mind you, none of them asked anything inappropriate. So I've been doing this for a year now and everything is, I mean, questions have been wonderful. Um, so one of the objectives for this strategy was to get students to utilize their critical thinking skills. But one thing I did not predict was that they were going to cause me to think more critically when answering some rather tough questions. Um, for instance, the first one is, what is the one life decision that you've made that you regret or question? And if the circumstances were different, what would you change and why? And another one, what scares you the most and why? So some of these really um, had me thinking before I had to, before I responded. Okay, so it's been a year. You're probably wondering um, if there's any data that I collected. Well, this is pretty much about um, all I have so far, even though I have put down like the grades the students made that asked the question just to see if there's a correlation, um, but there really isn't at this point. Um, but when I when I first started doing this, I had a fairly decent response from the students. For instance, I was teaching two courses in November 2018 simultaneously, meaning they started on the same day. Um, in one class, there was 10 students who asked me personal questions. In the other class, there was, there was 14. So basically, in that one week, I had to respond via video to 24 students. Then in the first course of the year, there were 18 students who asked me a question. And in February, there were 11. So I, I, I felt like anything over 10 would be good. Um, that'd be at least a third of the students since the, the cap on students enrolled in this course is 30. Um, but then it started decreasing, as you can see from this bar graph. Um, I began to wonder what could be causing this. Um, could it be due to external factors? Could it be the time of the year when holidays are over and students simply don't feel motivated and they're not as optimistic? Um, or could it be internally within the course? Am I doing something wrong? Um, or maybe as their graduation date draws near, which is usually in May, they just want to do what's required and nothing more. So there's a lot of possibilities for this. So I, I decided to try something else. Um, and I don't know why I didn't think of this in the first place, but I posted an introduction video of myself basically repeating what my announcement said. Just adding a you know a few words here or there but making the students um feel more comfortable with um the beginning of this course and i noticed an increase in student responses so instead of getting like four or five every new course this time i got eight so here are some re reactions from some of the students because they didn't necessarily ask me a question um they basically said um that they were nervous going into this course and this video really helped ease their nerves. So um, I can read one for you um, down here. I must say that I'm really nervous about taking this class since I only have two capstone courses left to graduate. It makes me a bit apprehensive by just um, thinking about it. Your video has given me an ease of mind that, will, that all will work out in the end. Okay, um, final thoughts. One important thing that I've learned from the student interaction strategy is that when one, um, when the initial plan doesn't seem to be working, it just means the idea needs to be tweaked a bit. Even when I taught a class a few months ago in which only one student asked me a question, I didn't get discouraged. I automatically assumed that maybe they didn't see the announcement or the initial post in the introduction forum. Um, some students just, you know, see what's required and that's all they do. When it seemed progress was not being made, I continued to think of other ways to inform students of this opportunity that I was giving them. I'm not talking about the opportunity to ask me anything because that would just make me a little bit narcissistic now, wouldn't it? I'm referring to the opportunity to think more critically, to engage more with their professor and their classmates, and to feel more at ease when starting a difficult and unfamiliar course. Our students deserve the best educational experiences that we can give them. So why not try to give a little piece of ourselves in the process? Teaching for Ashford University shouldn't just be a paycheck in which the instructor is just doing the bare minimum. 
these students are our future. So we need to be that added support and guidance to hopefully keep them on the right path towards success. That will conclude my presentation. Thank you so much for listening.